Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode I think it is going to be um, the rear tail lights and once we've done the rear tail lights I think that is all we need to do for the exterior of the model here so we're looking pretty good um, this will be the final episode then of this tutorial series uh, the exterior of the car anyway um, I think what I'll do is for the next episode will be part of a new series which is focusing just purely on the interior so people will be linked back to complete this one should they wish to or need to um, and then we'll continue through this model and making the inside of the car um, but for now we'll just finish the tail lights here or start the tail lights should I say um, and there's one thing that I think we do need to change and I think we actually need to create a little bit of an inset uh, down here, so I think um, let's have a look it looks like we actually want to have a portion of this, so something maybe like that I think coming through there um, let's see because um, I think what we'll want is we actually want this let's just ditch that edge as well because I think we actually want this to keep going over here too like so let's just grab that and delete the edge and the vertices there could maybe do is we'll grab this one and we'll snap it in here let's just before we do anything nuts let's isolate the selection bring those together we'll do the same with these here Let's just for now go along this top edge and again delete the edge and the vertices there so we can fix that in a couple of seconds. Okay. So it looks like we want to do something a bit more like that so we can see here that this comes off straight and then that bit there pops up so that's looking good um, the only thing then what we'll do is let's drop and insert an edge loop just there so that's going to curve up there continue up there quite nicely and then we're going to have that blocked off at the bottom there which is fine so that's good so let us now continue with the lights so we're gonna want to probably grab these portions here Let's just isolate these bring these in um, we're gonna do something very similar to what we did in the last episode so some of this may be fast forward um, a little bit I might speed up a few things at some point and I'm just gonna take these down to one on one And we're going to want to work with the back view here as well. So actually what we'll do is let's bring this in. So we're going to want to go in here. Alright, so what we're going to want to do first is I think we'll want to kind of create the required shape, if I can grab this last vertices here and here so we're going to cr create a very small kind of box that's going to run around here just like at the front so we'll, we'll merge these here hit control E okay. 
So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to bring this in, snap all these points here. Let's see, the best way to connect this one will probably be... Probably want to actually put it attached to this, so let's just quickly drop in a loop, roughly an edge just roughly in line there. I'm going to do that just so that we can snap to it here. Like so. And now what we'll do is we'll delete that so it's not going to interfere with the rest of the model. just going to want to bring this along. So I'll probably speed this up. We're just going to follow this all the way along and then once I'm coming through to tidy it up, we'll probably continue. Okay guys, so we're back and we're looking pretty good there. Let's just add in all the additional geometry that we would need. So here for example we'll want to make sure that we're matching because we are going to want this to kind of maintain the body curves. Um, the same body curves as the actual body parts. If I can select this one here, there we go. So I want to snap that inside there. kind of bring that up. So we've got the two there. Um, here we'll probably want to drop one in because we are going to want to maintain. We're not going to snap that to anything though because it doesn't look like it's going to fit perfectly so we'll leave it like that. We're looking pretty good up there. Okay so we're looking pretty good for the most part all around here. I think the only thing we're going to want to do is maybe bring that one out a little bit more. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to grab all of those interior edges here. Um, I'm going to hit Control E, and we'll probably do this on the component, and we'll pull these in like so. And then what we'll probably do with these elements up top is let's grab all of these here and we're just going to pull them down like so. I'm not going to see much of this anyway. Now what we're going to need to do as well is we're going to need to insert an edge loop inside here and here because we are going to want to maintain and then here we'll need to maintain as well. So right off the bat, if we give that a, a smooth with three, we hit three on all of these two. Well, as well. We'll see now that we've got that running quite nicely all around there, maintaining that same correct shape too, which is good. 
think what we'll do is let's grab all the edges here and let's just pull them a little bit further in the way. I'll just take the smooth off these for now. Um, so I'm just going to darken this off. So we can kind of see a little difference in there to the body panel. Um, what I'm actually going to do is on all those inside edges is um, we are going to want to probably right now let's just um, you know what let's just fill the hole for that. So drop that inside there like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some core elements inside here in order to appear inside of the actual headlight itself. Um, but before we do that, um, what we could, what we might want to do, is we'll want to maybe grab all of these points here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control D on this, and I'm going to grab every face but this one and we'll hit delete so all we have right now is a shape that's going to roughly fit in for us to be glass so we're going to keep that to one side for now but what we do want to do is we do want to add some elements to this headlight so well tail light should I say so we're going to rotate this around here let's bring it up here um, can actually okay, so bring it up here and we want this to align let's see if we can get this in our rear view we're going to want this to align up here along with our curve So I think what we'll do is let's hit 3 on all these components so we can kind of get a good idea of how we're sitting here. Before we do, let's insert an edge loop in here. So we'll add some edge loops in there just to try and maintain that shape. So when we smooth off we're going to have a nice little section here. So I think with this we do want maybe to have slight rotation. So we'll go in something like that. That looks good. Now on the face what we'll do is let's grab all of the frontal faces here. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to scale down a little bit and then hit Control E again. I'm going to go in something like that. So we're just going to give a little bit of definition to this. And we don't want this to be too smooth because we want the light to nicely reflect off all of those different individual blocks inside there. So we've got something like that. Um, I think we may want to rotate this a little bit more over here. Okay. Maybe we'll scale this up. It does look like it's actually scaled up and then chopped off at the top. So it looks like we'll want to maybe do something like that. Let's line that back up here. Let's 
bring all that back in. So it looks like we maybe want that to be in something like that. I'm going to grab this face and I'm going to grab it on the component view. And on that red there, I'll pull that in to give us a little bit more room to work with. We're going to try and aim to get all of that covered up anyway. I'll drop that in there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good as it is now. What we'll want to do, I think, is let's grab this block here. We're going to want to extrude this out. I think what we'll probably want to do is we'll probably want to follow the flow of these lights here. Let's actually let's grab all of these. loop just there to give it another level and we'll grab all of these here hit control E and what we'll do with these is we'll try and get this to follow the line of the car down a little bit as we come a bit further down here. And then I'm just going to scale these to a point, I think. Something like that. Because we do have another portion of light inside there. And in order to do that, maybe what we could do is grab another edge loop on here. pull that all the way out here. Like so. And let's just grab these. Just want to make sure that we're following that line of the body there quite nicely. Maybe come back on the world option. Um, I think we'll want these to come up. I want to try and maintain some kind of order to that because we will extrude in on those points in a second. Um, let's grab all of this. I think we're a little bit off. something like that. Side there. And then what we'll do, let's grab all of these two. Maybe go for that one. And we'll bring all of these over here. So, and again, we could straighten that off. Okay, it's got a little bit of detail in there. Uh, we might have to skip out on the detail just a little bit here, just to make sure that we're not running too bad on time. Got all that sitting there nicely then, so I think what we'll do for this is let's just isolate the selection for this. And I'm not going to want any of these rear faces. So let's get rid of all of these. And then 
if we grab one of these real quick. And these two. I think what we'll want to do is let's grab these ones. I'll hit Control E. And we're going to scale in. Scale in something like that. Do that. Maybe tidy this up just a little bit. Probably want all of these to come through like so. looks okay. And then what I think we'll want is basically we'll want all of these here. We want to extrude these. Um, but I think what we'll want to do is we'll probably let's actually grab this center one here just scale that down ever so slightly. So it looks like we'll probably want these. We do something like that. Let's actually let's actually only do it to these ones. So we'll go in something like that, and then if we grab vertices up here. Oh, maybe go for that one too. Maybe leave the interior ones. So maybe do something like that. Same again down here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of detail in there. Let's get this now roughly in place. So what we'll do with this is we'll actually snap this. Only two. To this lowest point down here. We want the glass to sit on the actual plastic rather than the body. probably need to go through and refine aspects of this rear tail light, but we've got the gist of what's going on here. It's a bit hard to kind of do something 
like this in half an hour. And then what we're going to want to do is let's... So it looks like that's holding onto there quite nicely. We'll drop in some additional lines just to kind of give a little bit of structure to this. Just add in some additional ones here just for the rest of the structure. Like so. Basically what you would do if your areas here are protruding just a little bit, you can use these additional vertices now around the center here to pull and push ever so slightly should you need to. Sweet. So, if I now make a quick transparent blin, which is red, and drop that on here. Okay, so we'll have something that looks a little bit like that. So, for the most part, that's not looking too bad. I'll probably refine that a little bit in between um, in between recording um, this and the interior so we're looking pretty good lights looking nice and smooth um, maybe the connections around here are just a little bit off might want to adjust that slightly um, generally what happens with edges like this is if it comes to a point and then it generally means that it's not going to curve off so you need to attach that point there to a line which means it should curve off a little bit nicer which it has to some extent what we'll do is we can bring that into position ourselves Okay, so we're looking good. I think that's the car practically finished once we get that duplicated over to the other side. Uh, like I said, um, this will be the end of the series for the Jaguar the exterior here, but there will be a new tutorial in hopefully in a couple of weeks or so, fairly soon, uh, where we'll be modeling the interior of the car as well. Okay, guys. Nice.